Hey guys, you're gonna have to excuse the appearance today and the voice. I am just getting over a nasty cold. Um, I do have a button coil hatch that I wanted to kind of just, you know, take you along with and show you just how small they are when they hatch. Um, and I also want to do uh, a new hat reveal that uh, Finn got in the mail today. So this hatch was not the best hatch, unfortunately. There was about 20 eggs and had an incubator malfunction. Um, and there was only four that actually hatched. I was actually lucky to get the four. I kept candling them throughout, uh, you know, their incubation, which is like 18 days. And just early on, none were developing. I think either the temperature spiked up too high, maybe on the first or second day, uh, and then we lost power. And so I honestly expected to get zero to hatch. So I was lucky that four actually did from this hatch, and uh, I'll show you them now. And I meant to make more videos this month. It's just, it has been an absolute wind world of month. Um, Finn was in People Magazine. I'll show you the um, little article that I kept on him uh, in two minutes. And then me and my husband did two TV interviews. There was two other magazines that did an article on Finn and the Hat. So it's been an absolutely crazy month. And I just it's just been really exciting, honestly. Just crappy time to get sick. Here's Finn's um, little magazine cutout that I saved from People Magazine. Let me see if I can... I'll read it. It says, not long after Bernard Henry welcomes uh, Merns Quail Finn to his farm, TikTok followers sent uh, the bird a custom hat. His first hat was actually a, a cowboy hat. Um, he seemed thoroughly to enjoy it. Henry 28 recalls, now fans send teeny toppers in the mail with Finn sporting everything from French beret to a Hogwarts sorting hat. It's the coolest thing ever. So I like to show people like perspective just how small like button quail legs are. And so like, here's a die, literally the same size as a die. Or I have a attack. <laughs> it's, it, it's insane that a, a chick can actually hatch from an egg this small. Come on. Come on. So I've been sick all day in bed, but I mean, being sick in bed with button wells isn't so bad. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Just wanted to show you how small these guys are compared to like a die right here. They're literally almost the same size. And they're about a week old now, so when they were just born they were probably smaller than that. A new uh, hat reveal for Finn. Right, Finn? It's your flower hat for spring. <laughs> we even picked some daffodils for the background. <laughs> He's comical. He's so patient with me. So my stand for my camera broke, but hopefully this will suffice. So this is a button that's like two weeks old. I have to hold them tight because they'll fly off. So it's still small, you would think. But then you have Dash, who's like six days old. And look at the increase in size already. I mean, they really, 
they double to triple in size very, very quickly. And within eight weeks, they're, they're laying, they're fully mature, um, and they're already breeding again. So it's, it's incredible how quick their life cycle is. And they really only like last longevity wise, um, three to five years. I do have some buttons that are, you know, towards the, the end of the five year mark and they look healthy and everything. Um, they don't lay too much anymore, but yeah, so the, their lifespan's really quick. It's a, it's a short little life. And so a lot of people asked on my, um, last post on Instagram, if I'll keep dash, so I keep them over half the time. If I'll keep dash in the house or not. And I, I may, honestly, if another button like him is, is attached to me like, like he is, I'll keep two in the house just cause they do better in pairs like that. Um, but if not, I'll just put him down with the rest of um, his little flock. Um, but I'm gonna put him in the incubator right now cause he's cold. I keep dash in the house as another house quail just like Finn, Quinn, Daisy, and Jake. Um, they're different species, so I would have to separate them. I don't like to intermix species like that just because, you know, it's just not healthy sometimes. The diseases that, you know, another species could carry, the other one can get it easier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna play it by ear and see if, you know, I'll add a, a button quail as a house quail. I definitely already have my hands full with these four, so, you know, we'll see maybe in the next three to four weeks if I'm gonna keep Dash in the house or not. And I wanted to address the like the little corner of plants in my room because everyone always comments on it. I have like this orchid obsession for the past year, um, so I'm collecting like random species of orchids. Um, and then I built um, a terrarium. Uh, it's a closed off one from all mosses that are like native to my, you know, my growing zone, and they seem to grow fine all winter. But I'll, I'll show you the corner here. So I have no idea which species is which. These are like the typical mini orchids you see in the store. Um, and these are like more exotic ones. They're like actually really fragrant, they're beautiful. And these are like mini clusters. Let me see if I can get the lighting right, hold on. These are mini clusters of orchids. No fragrant to them. And this one was like, almost like a glove looking type. Um, if you know what a lady slipper is, you find them in the forest, they're native to like New England and probably other areas, but this is what this one looked like before it died. I was gonna make a video really quickly um, when tulip season starts in a few weeks, you know, about just like walking through the, like kind of the patch where I grow my tulips and just, you know, picking them and something like therapeutic like that. I don't know if people like it. It's a lot of off content, it's not animals. Um, but I was gonna bring actually Finn out there and take a few pictures. Um, he has like a few flower hats, so I thought it'd be cool to have like a field full of flowers in the back round and then just do you know a short video so I was thinking about doing something like that just I guess let me know what you guys think and if you would watch something like that um, but I will be posting a video next week um, especially when Finn and Daisy start you know pairing up for mating season so in April um, we'll be finishing the book The Imaginary Adventures of Finn the uh, children's book that my husband and I are writing on Finn um, there's about 10,000 tulips and daffodils blooming uh, it's definitely going to be a hectic month so I'm hoping to at least to get out two to three uh, YouTube videos in that time.